first to, um, and Art, are you doing these or shall I? Julie's no, doing Julie. these, that's right. Um, Julie uh, Hasenwinkel uh, from the Educational Professional Development Committee will come and give these awards. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, before we call our awardee to the podium tonight, we're very honored to have two of Bill Hall's sons with us this evening. And so I would like to invite um, uh, his sons, Conan and Pat, to the podium to say a few words. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Society for allowing my brother and I to present this award in my dad's honor. Pops would have been ex extremely proud. I'm also grateful for a lasting legacy moment to present before my uh, two daughters who are sitting over here who will never have the honor to know their grandfather. Uh, something other than dad talking about him all the time. This award has found its way to a most deserving student. Lila Rodsari is both accomplished and ambitious, and through more perseverance and hard work, her future goals are easily achievable. So keep up the good work, and scaffold me a new finger one of these days. <laughs> and I'd like to echo my brother's uh, gratitude for inviting us uh, to witness uh, this uh, presentation. My dad uh, told me an anecdote about the time that he researched materials for blood compatibility. He had sorted textile samples as suitable or not suitable for evaluation. A student assistant assigned to test fabric swaths got the shoe boxes mixed up and tested a piece of fabric from the rejected shoebox. During testing, they discovered that the fabric, the lure, actually had properties, potential as a useful material in the search for biocompatibility. This story illustrates to me that regardless of whether one is beginning, a beginning assistant or a seasoned academic, we're all equally capable. In reading through Layla's Layla Rusardi's application, I was struck by her impressive accomplishments as an undergrad and her future ambitions. Layla mentioned the impact that her mentors at Clemson have had on her young career. My own mentor, Soka Gakkai President Daisaku Ikeda, repeatedly stresses the value of having a mentor relationship and how it is the student that chooses the mentor. I hope all of you can find excellent mentors or be a mentor yourselves and inspire capable people who will make wonderful advances, as I'm sure Layla will. And I hope that the Society's scholarship grant will help Layla make great contributions in moving the field of biomaterial engineering forward. Thank you. Graduating from Clemson in May, and she plans to attend Rice University.